All right, let's get into this. Okay, it's been a few months since I've seen these pictures. Um, that's how hard I work on my videos for this channel. All right, GTO. I like these cars. A bit of a like kind of joke car in the 90s. They were like between three and five grand. And uh, sort of people who, I don't know, teenagers and stuff really wanted them. But people who were into cars, a bit all grown up, sort of poo pooed them. They weren't really taken seriously. But all this time later, I think they look really good. And seeing this one in real life, I remember it looked sort of quite smaller than I remember. Quite a cool looking sports car. But they look very heavy. And they don't look too, very, too much like a sports car, like a GT kind of thing. I have heard they can be really expensive to repair as well, which put me off buying one. But yeah, I think they're cool and they've aged really well design wise. Right, yeah, so you can see this was like walking into the showground. It wasn't huge, just this car park, just full of all these old cars. A lot of cars I've never seen before in my life, which was interesting. Hang on a minute. Let me just open this. It's late, yeah? It's like coming at midnight. Ah, oh, that's good. Japan, yeah? Japan's famous for its whiskey. It needs to be more, more well-known about the beer. The beers are so nice out here. Right, anyway. Um, yeah, i just come home. I was out of my car, I pulled in a supermarket car park one way and another guy pulled in from the other side. We sort of parked next to each other and he was in a Mark II Toyota, which there were loads here. So I just spoke to him about cars in the car park. It started raining and we went home. Okay, next photo. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, these Celicas, these are cool old cars. Back from the design, I think that looks like a, a Mustang. Like what? Japanese cars in the 70s, they were copying American cars. I think they were trying to take uh, business away from American car companies, which they did do. But yeah, they did take a lot of design inspiration from the, from the American cars, quite obviously. It's an old Bluebird, really cool. Got the original, I did notice these old cars, they've got their original badges on. I changed mine, I sort of wish I hadn't now. <laughs> Seeing the old ones, I thought it just suits the car better than a brand new badge like I put on mine. Anyway, Bluebird 510, let's see what he's done with his number plate. Wide wheels, not too stretched tires. Yeah, cool. This was one of my favorite cars of the show. It's just the small, it looks fun to drive. I like the color, I like the condition of it. Just suited it really well. Yeah, loads of these about RS Turbo. I do actually see these quite often. It's an R30 or an R31 Skyline. I do actually see them more regularly than other Skylines. This is the guy that invited me. He was from, um, I don't know his name. It's from the Nissan dealership that deals in classic cars, which I showed in one of my previous videos. This was the car in the workshop in my video. So he got it roadworthy and uh, yeah, took it out. He was laughing because the battery was flat when he tried to get in it. But yeah, I really like, I really like this kind of condition car, the way they look, where they look old and they are old. It just, it just suits the design, the condition works really well. And this car, do you ever see a car and you sort of wonder, you wonder sort of why you like it so much. Like, I don't really know, but this car was really doing it for me. Just a sort of funky little cabriolet. So yeah, you do see those around. It's a little Honda City or something it's called. They're quite cool. This is an old thing I've never seen before. Civic, might be a Mark One Civic. These are, are these Mark II Toyotas? Royal Saloon Toyota Crowns. I think they're Crowns. Yeah, a bit of a, a VIP. Is it Browman or something? The, the VIP version of these. These are really cool old cars. There's loads of them, look. Yeah, nice. This made me laugh. Look like something out of a cartoon. Toyota Sora. I really, really like them. And uh, they're a little bit expensive now, but not too crazy. Buy one at an auction. They're not really that expensive, but um, yeah, really cool car. Boxy coupe. Love it. I like the big back lights as well. It reminds me of my car. I do like that about my car. These big long horizontal lights. Look at this. Uh, this is quite cool, but a bit, a bit blobby looking. Do you know what I mean? This one, really nice color, really deep red, like almost brown. It was. I've never seen a car color like it, but it works really well. Again, really perfect condition. No one was looking at this car. <laughs> really nice condition, old Z car. <laughs> 240Z. Um, looked amazing. But, you know, I was talking earlier about the uh, Japan Japanese sort of copy designs. 
I'm seeing a lot of E-Type Jaguar in this car. Those those lights that remind me of an E-Type Jaguar and uh, a, lady, a lady's boob from the side. <laughs> but yeah, really nice condition one, but no, no one's really looking at it. Those tires and those wheels, that's cool. I'm getting some wheels soon for the Bluebird. Uh, possibly similar to this. I'm getting 15 inch by nine inch wide. And uh, I'm thinking to go 195, 50 for the tire profile, perhaps 55. Then I'm sort of thinking, trying to figure out what might be best. Oh, I love this, it's just how I like it. Nice stretch, bit of poke tucked in nice and tight to the arches. I really like that stance. Oh, skyline, but everything was just such nice condition. I think this is that reddy brown one. It looks a lot more sort of wine color here from this side. But yeah, in real life. This, I've never seen this before. I can't remember what it was now. What was it? I did look closely at the badge. Azuzu, that was it. Like, don't see many Azuzu cars, especially old ones, not in that condition, especially. This was it, what is it, Brownman or something? It's a crown, can't remember. Ah, the old Mark IV Supra. Really beautiful car, but my God, don't look inside them. Possibly the ugliest interior, dash at least, in any car ever. Horrific and way overpriced. I really like the cars. I think they're fun, I imagine they're fun to drive, never driven one, but they just look really good all over, front, back, side, everything. Uh, inside is horrible and they're just stupidly, stupidly overpriced. Even in auctions, they go for like 30, 40 grand just for like a basic one in sort of normal condition with high miles. People pay too much for them. They're not that special. I'd much rather have a Honda NSX for, for what you get for the money. Really like these, really 80 style boxy lights and uh, they modify really well, they lower really cool. It's done a lot of work to this one, look. Look inside it. Yeah, that was a cool car. This one, it's too famous. I'm not, I'm not interested in them. Everyone, everyone knows them all around the world. I like things that are a little bit more unusual. I, I'd rather have this one. Look at that. If that's not a copy of a Mustang, come on, look at it. A Celica. Toyota Celica copying 1970s Mustangs there. Mm, Supra, look. Aren't they nice? They're a nice shape. I'll tell you what's good with the Supra, yeah? They, um, they just, you can, sometimes you can look at things, you can see shapes and you can appreciate how they feel. That looks like, if it was in your hand, it would just feel nice. <laughs> it's partly, as a, it's a nice feeling looking at the Mark IV Supra. I think that's what, something nice about it. Yeah, this black thing. Uh, Cedric, is this a Nissan? Cedric. Very, very boxy. Very, very boxy with a boxy body kit on it. Nice condition though. 500 SL. Really cool, aged really well. I nearly bought one, yeah, years ago, like 2010, 2011. I was either going to get one of these or a Jaguar XJ. I had my heart set on an XJ because I wanted one since I was a kid. And uh, to be honest, these were a little bit out of my price range at the time. Like, a, you could get them for like four or five grand, and then four or five grand for a XJ Jaguar was just like the top, top condition one. I ended up paying like 2,000 for a really, really nice Jaguar, um, and then having money spare for wheels and suspension and stuff. If I'd have bought one of these, it would have been a better buy, but uh, it would have been a worse condition, a higher mileage car, and I would have had no money for like doing like maintenance and modifications and stuff. But yeah, going back in time, know what I know now. I would have gone for the Mercedes because the price is, well, I knew this at the time anyway, like SL Mercedes always go up in value and uh, these went up loads. They went from, like I say, five grand up to like 15, 20 in just like seven, eight years. So I would have been buying right at the bottom. This was uh, the engine bay of that custom looking thing. It looks, I've got an old magazine here from like 1990. I'm sure it's got one of these in. I think it's like, it might be the kit car, like a, a kit car version of a Lotus Europa uh, with a Japanese engine in it. Yeah, this, that, look at it. That looks like a Lotus Europa, but I think it was a kit car version. This little Honda, yeah? One of my favorite cars at the show. It was tiny, but it looks so nice. And it was in really nice condition. Never seen one before, didn't know this car existed. Really beautiful car, really cool. That sort of looks like a Triumph Spitfire or something. They always look like something has already been out, English or American. Little bonnet bulge there. 
Uh, there's like a proper nice little car. I like the design, the lights, they drop down there. I think it was the back didn't, wasn't quite as nice as the front. Interior, perfect condition. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of these lights and seeing that spare tire there, but what's that say? There's the, the length, yeah. It was tiny when you stand next to it. I can't believe how small this car was. Check out the length, yeah. That, this is literally smaller than a MX-5, Mark One MX-5, or a Miata, a Miata, as they call them in America. Corvette Stingray, very famous design. And uh, I think, I don't, I don't really like them <laughs> as much as how famous they are. I mean, this one was an amazing one. I kind of think the design is interesting, coming to the point, and I get why it's called a Stingray and that curved glass and stuff. Ah, they just don't do it for me. They just look kind of the more awkward than beautiful to me. Too many angle changes, especially the front. That just looks like a weird little thing. 300 ZX, always really cool. Always a good looking car. Those, those arches are a really nice touch. Really cool. I like them. This is that Bluebird again, the 510 number plate. Every angle, side, front, back, especially lowered, they look really good. I really like them. <clears throat> so everything's in amazing condition. I really like the wheels. I wish I found out a bit more about these wheels and tyres. <laughs> Not too stretched or pokey, but they just looked monstrous. I like the diameter to the uh, tyre profile. I really like the look of that. I would go for that on my Bluebird, but I think to get for that kind of size wheel on the Bluebird, I'd have to massively cut out the arches. I don't really want to do that. But this is a cool little race car. Oh look, hang on, I've got a 21550. 21550, that's a... And those wheels fill them out. So these wheels must be like nines? Ten... Possibly nines. I think a 245's on my Jaguar. Maybe nines, maybe eight and a half nines. I don't know, those tyres look monstrous. They're not stretched, so I reckon they're, they're at least eight and a half or nine, those wheels. <coughs> that was the engine, by the way, I just saw that. Of a tiny little thing, really small. I think I took a photo. I think I took another photo to sort of show how small it was. This is a cool design thing as well. And let me go back. My video is going too fast. Yeah, again, looks like the old English triumphs but it's quite quite a masculine sort of it looks menacing without being overly aggressive like a lot of cars they just go over the top with the aggression this is just looks like it's a bit hard but not not too big cars seem to seems to work really well when cars are small and this was a proper real ss camaro next to uh next to this thing and they left together as well. I think they were friends. Yeah, this. That's a BRZ. BRZ. This thing, I wasn't really sure if it was just abandoned in the car park or if it was part of the show. <laughs> Didn't look road legal. <laughs> look at that. Suicide door opens the wrong way. Hey, and there's Birdie. That was a Ferrari. Hang on, my video's going a bit too fast. Let's go back again. Okay, there's that thing. There's Birdie. All right. Ferrari 328 GTS. Really nice design. The back of it, side of it looks really good. Front, not quite as nice. In the interior, looks a bit crappy. They look, look quite kit car y sometimes, some of these old Ferraris. Uh, is this a Mark II Jaguar? No, sorry, Mark II uh, Toyota. The guy I was just talking to in the car park, he, he had one of these. Cresta. Look at those wheels. <whistles> Gotta love a deep dish wheel. Look how wide they are. Love it. That back one, they nailed it. Love that. Front one looks in a little bit, but got to do what you got to do. All this shit hanging out the front, like they do. <laughs> you see people, people in England, yeah, like boy racers or ricers, you might call them. Just have all this is just all fake bits of hose and stuff stuck to the front of their car. Uh, Why they've got like fake plastic <laughs> um, roll cages, just plastic bits of tube inside the car. These things, a lot of people say this is like their favorite K car. Not feeling it myself. I've seen them in real life a few times out here. This one is especially shit. It's got these indicators on the front, they look hideous. Nah, it just looks like a little toy. I don't like them. Oh, that was the end. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching.